Hey, what's going on, everybody? JC here today for Fittest Gamers. And today I want to talk about more superstars being added into AEW Fight Forever. Now, there's a million dollar question that comes with this statement. Are these superstars going to be added via DLC? Or are they going to be added via updates? Well, that will be answered in the near future, but we have tons of positive news pertaining to the roster thanks to Kenny Omega's recent interview with Uprox and some statements he's made. First and foremost, I want to give thanks to David Bezexpin of WrestlingInc.com for an absolutely excellent article that pretty much breaks down all of this for us. Then I also want to give thanks to the SmackDown Hotel, Simone SDH, for a great info input on uh, the DLCs to come in AEW 5 Forever. And I'm going to link both of these articles in the description of this video. So, where do we start off? Well, the positive statement that Kenny Omega made, he made several positive statements to Uprox, but the most important one to me is that he pretty much stated, we're going to add bodies to the roster. This absolutely means that we're going to see Evil Uno, the acclaimed, Stu Grayson, Jamie Hayter, the list goes on of many superstars that we will see in AEW fight forever. Now, the question is, are they going to be pay to play with them or are they going to come in via updates? I do think they're going to be via updates for many reasons. I'm going to point out one of them now because pertaining to the relationship with New Japan Pro Wrestling and Ring of Honor, Kenny Omega stated a lot more possibilities for what we can include. Overall, what we can include in the game. What does this mean? I do think these will be DLCs. There will be like a New Japan Pro Wrestling a Forbidden Door DLC that would include Okada, Will Ospreay, huge names from New Japan. And there'll be a Ring of Honor Forbidden Door one as well. At least this is my overall take. That's how I feel it will work. Maybe the Ring of Honor one won't be called um, Forbidden Door DLC or whatever. But still, I do think these will be the DLCs and those that have been on AEW since already for like two years from now, three years since day one, I think those superstars like Evil Uno and Stu Grayson, they deserve just to be in the game. We deserve just to play as them already. It mind boggles me how Evil Uno was not included in the game day one. He did ton of work for marketing and promoting this game, did tons of interviews and the fact that he wasn't in the game day one, it, does, it makes zero sense. It really makes zero sense. Everyone from Dark Order should have been featured in the game. It makes absolute zero sense to me. I don't know what they did there. I don't know why they did it this way. Overall, that's not for me to answer. That's for them to answer. And hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get an answer to that. On top of all of that, something that's very positive that Kenny Omega said as well. I'm going to summarize it for you all. There will be more announcements of the roster. There will be more additions. It's confirmed. He confirmed it twice. He tried to touch base on it twice for us. This is going to allow us, you know, if anyone that has down talked the game about the roster, please just give it time and have hope and faith. The roster will be maximized. We will get tons of our favorite superstars to be in the roster. I personally wanted Evil Uno and the Acclaimed badly in the game when I did not see them in the roster day one. I was shocked. I saw the whole roster reveal and I'm like, no, 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 no. They're probably going to add them day one. When they were not in the game, I was in a loss for words. But this is great information given by Kenny Omega. On top of all of this as well. Something that we could touch base on slightly. I'm going to touch a real quick base on the match types. He also confirmed more match types to come. Not just the Stadium Stampede Battle Royale. We're talking actual match types. I'm having hope that we see uh, a cage match. Maybe a potential street fight. A tables match. And hopefully trios. On top of that, a tornado tag type of match. But this video is not to talk about match types. I will leave that for another video. Even though I did one about a week ago. So you can feel free to check that one out. I go in depth. Everything I say is pretty much accurate. No myths, just facts there. So I think a lot of great things are to come within this. So uh, that's that. And then when it comes to the DLC... There are some DLC packs coming out. We all know this. The first DLC drop will be July the 25th, which is the, the Limitless Bunny Bundle, uh, which, you know, has Keith Lee, the bunny, and it has a mini game, the MJF Car Thrash and Sloth Sling. Now, I'm going to be honest with you when it comes to mini games. The mini games are pretty much over within about a minute to two minutes tops so i'm not a huge fan of mini games i would have been like if it was longer i guess i don't know they just go by really fast i know it's called mini games for a reason but some of them and even like in 30 seconds and the only ones that are longer because they ask you questions and you gotta like mix and match cards or like the aw like the one you have to answer questions on who was the first winner who was the first this that and the third so that's my overall take and then august 22nd around the time of all in we have the hook housing very handsome very evil pack so I'm not sure if we're going to get drops in between these DLCs. I don't, I don't think so. Not before the, the Limitless Bundle. Uh, the Limitless uh, the limitless Bunny Bundle. I don't think we're going to get anything before that. But I do think if we were to get DLCs and such, it will come um, probably after August or during August. 
I would say that's that's what I would answer for you all. Now, a huge takeaway as well that we could get from all of this is that it's called Fight Forever for a reason. Uno touched base on this about it almost a year ago. It was like December of last year. We will see updates, constant updates, but the AEW Fight Forever updates are not going to be like the WWE 2K23 updates. They're going to be more in-depth, I feel. I feel like they're going to add more things. If they could add match types, if they could add superstars, that gives me hope that they could add, they could add community creations. On top of that, they could probably add... Um, well, we are going to get more things to do for create a superstar. That is going to come. But yeah, community creations will pretty much be it. Uh, I hope we get more arenas. I, that's my overall takeaway. Just give us more arenas. Give us more unique styles to create arenas. I don't like that stone heads thing. And like, it's like two curtains or whatever. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know if you're a fan of that. I'm personally not a fan of that. But yes, what I laid out for you all is there is confirmation. More superstars are coming. We have the confirmation that we all wanted. We've had this a while ago. But now the fact that he's pretty much the, him saying more bodies will be added. I am absolutely happy. So that is my overall take. Um, I, I, I don't know how you all feel. I'm trying to do more content pertaining to this game. But the fact that there is no community creations, it kind of limits me. Funny, the Limitless Bundle comes out this month. But I feel limited a little bit with what I could do. I've done Road to Elite several times. I haven't had every single outcome. I almost have, but I haven't. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I got. I got to see what's next. You know what is there to do. But this really caught my eye today. There will be more additions. I'm, I promise you, we're gonna see likes of Will Osprey Okada in this game. That's gonna be. That's what. That's where it becomes game changer. That becomes game changer as well as community creations. You do community creations. This is the game we've all dreamed of. I love the game. I enjoy playing this game. I really do, and I'm perfectly fine with the match types being short. I like the day one roster. I still feel that the acclaimed Evil Uno, Stu Grayson, Jamie Hayter, uh, Tony Storm, you know, Soraya, I, they're missing a lot of superstars that should have been in it day one. Day one, they, a lot of these superstars should have been in it. The, you know, they, they really have. They really should have. I don't know. Really don't know what was it that happened there. But and I don't think a tag team ladder match, speaking of match types, come on. They call it Escalera de la Muerte. Often you have, you, you know, come on penta phoenix versus the young bucks like come on that match though every time they have a match every time it's a ladder match is absolutely breathtaking and i do hope they add the trios titles to this game that would be very very cool they could do so much and in recent interviews too there's been tons of input of tony khan has his hands heavily around this game and you know tony khan i think is an ex he's an excellent uh wrestling fan excellent promoter if you want to call it excellent owner i love tony khan and i do think he's not going to let this fail i think he's going to cater us to exactly to what we want so i'm a huge tony khan fan i'm gonna be honest with you all um so yes overall more superstars are to come now i'm gonna do something a little different today i normally don't do the outros with me in it but I'm going to do an outro with me in the picture. I want to do that. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do now is we're going to cue the static and I'm going to give you an in-person outro. All right, FG fam. So how do you feel overall about this news with AEW Fight Forever? I feel hopeful. I feel positive. I think this game is going to take new heights once the roster additions come as well as the new max types. Kenny Omega absolutely knocked it out the park with his statements. He's keeping it positive and he's always keeping it with the facts. He's not going to lie to his fans. Neither is Tony Gunn. They're so far been great to the fans in my opinion. So that's my overall take. Super excited for what, what's to come in the future. On top of all of that, as I always say in all my videos, remember that God is good, God is real. Miracles do happen. I will not be here today if it wasn't for him above. Remember, he is roaring and alive like a lion. Remember Hulk Hogan's mantra of say your prayers and eat your vitamins, brothers and sisters. And John Cena's mantra of never give up. And great successes will come your way. I promise you all that. So keep on your grind, keep your head up, and whatever you want to do, you will succeed in. Just keep going at it and do not give up. So, as I always say in all my videos, from my part of the world, Good morning, good afternoon, goodbye, good evening, good afternoon. I said that twice. Who cares? Thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to brush your teeth, wash your hands, and clean your ass. JC from Fitness Gamers, God bless you all. Editor, as me, cue the static, please.